Grammar Slap. Hello and welcome to GrammarSlap.com. I'm Jennifer. And I am Andrew. We have a grammar issue we'd like to discuss with you today, but first, uh, Andrew, I, I hear some startling news. You have submitted a paper to a physics journal. Yes, and it is driving the physics community crazy. You're alleging that the universe is actually a giant black and white cookie. Why would you think that? Well, first of all, there's five or six reasons I could immediately tell you about. <laughs> what was that for? Do you, you just... not agree that it's a black and white cookie, the universe? I need more information before making an informed decision, but I do know that your grammar is incorrect. But there are. You just fixed it. You just said there are five or six reasons. So that's correct. Five or six is plural. You'd have to agree with that. Oh, okay. So you originally said there's five or six reasons. Oh, which would more be like there is five or six reasons. Right. There's is a contraction for there is. See, oh. here's why it's so complicated. When you have a sentence that begins with there, you have a kind of inverted sentence order where the verb is before the subject, so your ear kind of stops working. Yeah. So there is, verb, five or six reasons. There's your subject. What you're really saying there is five or six reasons is. And that doesn't sound right at all, because five or six is definitely plural, and is would only work for singular. And you're telling me you have plural reasons why the universe is a black and white cookie. It's confusing though because I want to make a contraction and there's no contraction for there are. You could say there were. There were. T H E R E apostrophe R E. This doesn't sound right. That is not a word. However, there what are. if I were to say there's a plethora of reasons? Good word. You could do that. A plethora is one thing even though it has five or six reasons in it. 